Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company, PassMyInterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a health and safety manager or safety officer interview. Now, in particular, I'm going to give you a number of interview questions and high scoring answers. Now, I have plenty of prior experience of being a health and safety manager. I worked in the fire service as a fire officer for about 17 years and during that time I was required to carry out lots of risk assessments and I also actually held the position of health and safety manager for a period of time. So I believe that you will find the interview tips and the questions and answers a huge benefit to your health and safety manager interview. So please do stick around, take notes and watch it from beginning to end. So in the tutorial, I'm going to give you some top scoring answers to the kind of questions that you are likely to get asked um, based on the health and safety manager interview. Please do subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. And I would also very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. That always motivates me to do more content for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So in preparation for your health and safety manager interview, what do we need to demonstrate to your potential employer or the hiring manager? Well, we need to show that you can con conduct suitable risk assessments um, to ensure all staff are familiar with them and they are safe and they also abide by them. You should also be responsible for ensuring the business is legally compliant in respect of health and safety law and legislation. You'll be required to organize and facilitate staff safety training as, as required based on your risk assessments. Also conduct all safety inspections and drills and also ensure there are adequate first aid stations present within the workplace. You'll also be required to create suitable health and safety management processes and monitoring systems. And also, very, very important, keep and maintain accurate records of your findings, but also advise the senior management team in respect of safe working practices in line with their legal duties and responsibilities. So obviously, there needs to be a fine balance. Safety must always come first, but you have to you know, apply your duties as a health and safety manager in line with the strategic vision of the organization. And as I say there, make sure that you maintain accurate records and also report all accidents and dangerous occurrences in line with the relevant regulations that are applicable to the to the um, country in which you are working within. So let's now take a look at a number of health and safety manager interview questions and answers. You can either take notes as I progress or I will tell you at some stage where you can download a copy of my 20 health and safety manager interview questions and high scoring answers. So let's take a look at the first question. Tell me about yourself and why you want to become a health and safety manager. So it's pretty much guaranteed to be the first question of your health and safety manager interview. And here is my suggested answer. I am a dedicated, organized and passionate person who takes my work very seriously. Now, as a health and safety manager, you have to be determined, knowledgeable and resolute in everything you do. And those are just some of the qualities I possess that I am proud of. Now, the role of a health and safety manager requires specific skills and qualities, which I feel I have in abundance. These are being relied upon to create and instill a culture of safety must always come first within an organisation. Excellent communication skills, especially when dealing with people who perhaps might be sceptical about safety. And finally, an understanding that you are running a business. And on that basis, safety has to run in parallel with your strategic aims and your objectives. Now, if you hire me as your health and safety manager, I will work with you to ensure everything you and your employees do is compliant and the risk is minimized to an acceptable level. So that's a great in-depth answer that gives you know, the interviewer details about you, what you're like as a, as a person, your attitude to safety, and also why you have chosen this role. Let's take a look at a second question for your health and safety manager interview. So why have you chosen our company to work for as a health and safety manager? Why have you chosen our company? So, as you and I know, the role of a health and safety manager, it needs the support of an organisation for you to carry out your duties responsibly and compliantly. If you don't have the support of the organisation, you are fighting an uphill battle. So it's really important that you have their support. So here's my suggested answer to that interview question. The role of a health and safety manager is the type of position where you have to have the support of your employer. There are some organisations out there who I believe do not take safety as seriously as they should. 
But having researched your organization, it's clear you want to embed a culture of health and safety within your organization. And when difficult decisions have to be made, I believe you will be, you'll support me in the process. Now, for those reasons, and also the fact that you are a leader within your industry, make me want to become your health and safety manager. So that focuses on the fact that, you know, you get supported, you've looked into them a little bit. But that's the main thing for me is I would not want to be a health and safety manager for an organization that doesn't support me within my role. And that would be the main reason I would give for choosing their company. Question number three. So what duties and responsibilities do you expect to be carrying out on a daily basis as our health and safety manager? So this basically assesses whether you've looked at the job description. Um, you know, do you know what you're going to do on a, on a daily basis? And this will also set the bar high in respect of your standards of what you're going to do for them. Here we go. My role as your health and safety manager would be first and foremost to monitor the various safety risks and hazards within the workplace to ensure all staff and visitors are safe from harm. Furthermore, it would be my duty to ensure your organisation is not at risk from litigation as a result of poor health and safety practices or policies. I would achieve this by creating a culture that insists safety must always come first, whilst also conducting suitable risk assessments that all staff are familiar with and they actually abide by. I would also be responsible for ensuring your business is legally compliant, organising and facilitating staff training, conducting all safety inspections and drills, and also making sure there are adequate first aid stations present within the workplace. Now, I would also be required to create suitable health and safety management processes and monitoring systems, keep and maintain accurate records, and also advise you, the senior management team, in respect of safe practices in line with your legal duties and your responsibilities. So if you gave me that answer, I would think you know what you're doing, you know what you're required to do. And, you know, the, the remit of health and safety, which is absolutely crucial in any organisation, would be in safe hands. That's how I would feel. Now, I've got two more questions to run through, so please do stick around. But if you want to download my full set, and I recommend you do, my full set of 20 health and safety manager interview questions and suggested answers, if you click the link in the top right hand corner of that video, then it will take you through to my website where you can have a look at them and learn how to download them. Next question. So describe the risk assessment process to me. OK, describe the risk assessment process to me. So all health and safety managers have to understand the assessment of risk. So when I was working in the fire service, I was responsible for carrying out risk assessments, but also carrying out dynamic risk assessments. If I was at an incident where there was a fire or a road traffic collision and that dynamic risk assessment would change all of the time. As a health and safety manager, you would um, hopefully have a little bit more time to to carry out real thorough risk assessments, but obviously they have to be reviewed periodically. But there's a five-step process with, that I will go through in this answer, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Here we go. There are five important steps to consider when creating a suitable and appropriate risk assessment. Step one is where I would identify the hazards present. This might be an item of machinery or a potentially hazardous cleaning liquid, for example. Step two is the process of determining who is at risk from harm and how. In the case of the machinery that I just gave you, this would be the person or people operating the machinery and also those who might come into close proximity with it. Step three is where I would then evaluate the risks before deciding on the precautions that needed to be introduced. For example, if that potentially hazardous cleaning liquid gives off fumes, the precaution might be to only use it in a well-ventilated area with personal protective clothing worn at all times. And step four is where I would record my findings and then implement them. Now, during the implementation stage, I would also need to inform everyone within your workplace of the assessment and carry out relevant training if needed. And finally, stage five is where I would regularly review the risk assessment and amend or update it as necessary. So that shows that you know what risk assessment is. But what I like about that is you're not just giving a five steps to risk assessment, but you are then, you know, giving an example of it. I'm giving a couple of examples there, the machinery and the liquid, which I think is a better way to answer that question. Let's take a look at another one. So this is a difficult one, one that I feel that you would get asked uh, during a health and safety manager or safety officer interview. How would you deal with a situation whereby one of our employees was refusing to cooperate with health and safety regulations. And they might also word it in respect of where one of our employees is skeptical of health and safety. Because, you know, the answer it could be, the, the standard answer is, well, they're required to as part of their employment contract. And if they don't, they're effectively breaking, you know, the terms of their contract. So they could be dismissed. However, I don't feel that's 
the right answer to give. You could refer to that. Um, as I say, when I was in the fire service, that was different. You had to abide by it. You know, if you were in a safety critical situation of a fire or a road traffic collision, there was no room for this kind of behavior, if you like. So I've put together an answer based on what I would say if I was going for a health and safety manager's position with, with an organization or employer. Here we go. At the end of the day, health and safety is law and he or she would need to cooperate or they could find themselves in breach of their employment contract. However, a heavy handed approach would not be my first attempt to resolve this issue. I would seek to sit down and educate them as to the benefits of health and safety and how it is a fundamentally important responsibility of everyone at work. I would provide them with interesting examples of health and safety being put to good use before backing up my facts with statistics that are designed to show the real value of being safety focused within the workplace. It would be my intention to turn around the employee's attitude and their approach to health and safety in order to get them on my side and encourage them to genuinely see the true value of it. I think that's a good answer because what you don't want to be doing as a health and safety manager is battling against everybody. And that also comes down to what I discussed earlier on about having, you know, health and safety, as you and I know, needs to come from the top. So if, you know, the senior managers are on board, then it makes it easier for you and then you can get everybody else on board with it. Um, so but hopefully you'll be going into an organisation where there is a culture of safety, you know, comes first, but it needs to come from you as the health and safety manager. So don't forget, if you want to download my full set of 20 high scoring answers to your health and safety manager interview, please click the link below the video um, or go to my website, pass my interview. I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments yourself about health and safety, put them in the comment section below and um, the video. I'll always come on every day and take a look at them. Or if you've got any questions, you need help, let me know. Um, you can connect with me on LinkedIn as well. Um, my LinkedIn description um, my LinkedIn connection um, link is within the description below the video, so you can connect with me on there. It's always good to connect with like-minded like individuals who have the same experience. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to download those 20. I think it'll make a difference to your preparation. Thank you for watching, and I wish you all the best for passing your health and safety manager. Have a brilliant day.